Okay, I'm gonna bring the amp back to stock configuration. Uh, here's uh, two 1K5 resistors in parallel, making up about 800 ohms, and a bias cap underneath. I would like to replace it with something of a higher voltage rating, because as we've seen, the bias voltage is much higher than the 25 volts is, this cap is rated for. I might take the other one out and put it over here where uh, a bias capacitor is missing in the first stage that's just because the schematic is wrong the original fender schematic doesn't doesn't show the bypass cap but if you look at the actual amps that came from the factory they all have it Also, the Princeton, the Tweed Princeton schematic does have it. Yes, if you've got a decent desoldering pump, it's easy to get all the solder out. And uh, that's the best way to do it because you don't want to create a bridge between uh, the eyelet and the chassis. Okay, original bias configuration back in the amp. The 470 ohm resistor, it's actually 460. But now I'm gonna add the bypass cap on the first stage and I'm gonna uh, put in a screen resistor on the power tube. Bias cap in the first stage installed and checked for shorts so everything's okay. Well, the whole point of this video is trying to get a more stable champ and uh, fixing the bias, which always seems too high. Well, um, raising the cathode resistor isn't a solution, um, as I found out by now. Um, there was a video on YouTube by Guitar CPR who mentioned that even if you measured the plate current and what's going on through the tube that way, you still don't know what's going on with the screen and there's also some current on the screen apart from what you can measure on the cathode. He fixed it in a blackface chair by switching the power rail resistors around and um, but this is not something we can do in the tweet champ. It's already got uh, the correct power rail so I went looking for a solution and I uh, discovered another video um, of somebody installing a screen resistor. Then I also had a look at the Champ 57 reissue schematic by Fender, which clearly shows a 470 ohms uh, screen resistor, uh, apart from some other changes they've made. Uh, another important change is they've upped the cathode bypass capacitor to 450 volts even though normally we only put a 25 volt capacitor uh, in that position but as we've seen the the voltage on the cathode uh, often surpasses the uh, 25 volt mark so we'll install this screen resistor and sort of try to stabilize the screen currents and see how it sounds. The screen is here. I'm gonna run this wire over here to pin 6 and then run a 470 ohms resistor from pin 6 to pin 4. Huh? Bonnie, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Ow!
that's enough for now from the little champ i'm gonna play it for a while try it out i think it does sound a whole lot better um back to the original um bias resistor and with the screen resistor installed you saw that it doesn't uh stay straight uh, on the other hand um, the bias hasn't stabilized by putting in the screen resistor it's gone down a bit to 19 volts and it mostly doesn't go over 25 volts but it's not really stable yet so we'll have to keep on looking it sounds better and that's all that matters to me um, we might come back to the little amp I want to try out uh, putting in a, a 6L6 tube in this one and we'll see uh, how it behaves and sounds that's all for now.